Dave Ramsey, and this is my Toyota MR2. I'm about to show you an example of how I'm using 3D printing to not only make some repairs, but also make it my own. So for the purpose of this video, I want to focus on the front lip here. I actually like the way this looks, but as you can see, it's in kind of bad shape. What I want to do is I want to create my own front splitter for the car. And I really want to utilize the factory mounting locations in order to add mine in because I don't want to drill any excess holes. But before I can do that, I really need to find out what it looks like under here. So let's take a second and see what this looks like once all this is removed. And there you have it. With the front splitter off, you can see now I have access to my mounting locations. So what I want to do is utilize 3D scanning to capture this surface geometry so that I can make some standoffs that contour directly to it. Let's see what that looks like in SolidWorks. All right, so as we get into SolidWorks, you can see that um, what I actually did was I used the Artec Leo scanner to actually scan just a corner of that lower valance. And ideally the car is symmetrical, so I should be able just to capture that corner, build off that, and then ultimately mirror these pieces over. So taking that initial scan, what I did was I put some little pegs in those holes um, just to make sure that I didn't lose those uh, in the scan so I know where I need to locate these, uh, these standoffs that I'm going to create. So getting into this, kind of the first step was creating some extrudes that went uh, just up to that surface. And I ended up going just a little bit further going back because I'm going to do some mounting locations back here as well. But you can see I just did a, a, an up to surface, right? So everything contours to it. From there, it was just a matter of coming in and sort of cutting those back uh, until I got kind of the desired shape I was looking for. Uh, from there, it's just a matter of placing my hole locations where I want those. Again, that's what was critical about marking those with those uh, stoppers that I put in there. You can see that now I have my hole locations. I'm able to get some more bolt locations whenever I put the, uh, the splitter on. Uh, from there, it was pretty simple. I was able to come in and then finish those out because you should always add your fillets at the end. And then once I was done, I was able to mirror that over to the other side to get my standoffs right symmetrically for the driver's side. So once we come in and sort of hide out this surface, you can see that I'm left with the standoffs that I need to create. So now that I have these created, let's go put these into GrabCAD print and see what they look like set up on the F370. So here you can see we have our parts set up on the F370 currently. Now, they didn't all come in like this. I actually disassembled these from the multi-body part that it was and oriented them such that I would try and minimize my support material. So I wanted to set these kind of upright and um, all the same way, just so I knew that I'd have some consistency in how they were built. I also set this up to have a layer thickness of 13 thousandths, so that should help minimize some passes as well. Um, running a quick estimate, you can see this is going to take about six hours so that's not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the different layers. Uh, as we roll through the layers, uh, what we have here is a setup where you can see that my material is in green, my support is in orange, and if we zoom in on this a little bit, you can start to see how each layer is going to kind of build onto one another. So now that we've got that laid out the way we want, my estimates look good, everything looks fine with my material, um, Let's go ahead and print this and, uh, and see what we get. So the parts are printed, and overall I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out. But the true test is how they fit up to the car. Let's check it out. Looks like it fits pretty good to me. Let's get the rest bolted up. Well, all eight brackets are installed, and they all fit like they're supposed to. The last step is to bolt up the splitter. So for reference, uh, this is what I'm going to be placing on the car. It's just a simple plywood splitter that I cut up. So there you have it. The splitter's installed. Looks pretty good. And I'll have to say, thanks to 3D printing, I was able to go from concept to design 
to prototype pieces all within about a day's time. I can't think of another technology that would let me do that. Thanks for joining me, guys.